We have had to order extra maths books because on our book list last year we didn't put enough. Some students have said to me, I've never done so much maths in my life. <laughs> good morning Chloe, morning Lulu, morning Isla and good morning Emma. This is quite a tricky concept. We're using our mind to flip and rotate and reflect shapes. Letting the children direct their own learning was a little bit scary because I'm so used to having control and now I've kind of had to let it go and go, okay, you guys are in charge. In a primary school setting in a year five or six, getting students to be independent, that's a challenge, that's a tough thing. I just wasn't sure how I could get 21 children working on different things. How am I going to know where everyone's up to? How can I make sure that I'm catering for everybody? I guess the beauty of the program is that it allows a structure and a platform for that to happen. See the spread, but know that I can cater for it. Instead of me up the front, teaching to the middle, all that happening for each individual kid, which is kind of pretty cool. The whole program is not an online program. There's much more going on. The computer is basically your textbook. It's showing you what you need to learn. It's just how do you get to the next step? We've always got things happening. We've got children working on different stuff at different times. We've got people working together. We've got mini lessons happening. We've just got a busy classroom. It's the best thing to then see them master the module and you go, yes, <laughs> it just works. It's great. The thing that I get excited about most of all is the feedback, what they need to work on, uh, why they got that module wrong, how do they get mastery in that, they can talk about learning, they can see their learning. Just seeing those conversations, it's really great. The kids are like, oh, what about this? Oh, look at that. What about these gaps? How are we going to pick those up? Excellent, that's what I want. It's just preparing them for life. There's never, I've done it. There's always more to learn. In the background, my role is to ensure I know where they're all at, checking on their data, checking on who needs targeted intervention, who needs mini lessons. But then while I'm actually running it, I very rarely get to my computer. I'm on my feet all the time. Data is one of the most powerful things that we can look at to help us make our decisions. I get so excited for lunch so that they can go and I can use the data and I look at where they're at and I check how their growth is. It's pathways, we are actually seeing where we want to go. How cool is this? You can have that kid who is working their guts out, they just don't get recognition in that achievement level, but their effort is high. I really didn't want to encourage just the top of the class kids. That's not what Maths Pathways is, we're all on our own path. So every time they complete a module, they get to colour in a square for their house. So it's like a team building. How many squares do I get to colour in for Kessler? How many do I get for Altus? How much have I learnt from where I was? How far did I go? Love that about the program. No, honestly, do like really love that. Not just saying that for the video. I don't think that you'd find a school that doesn't want every child to learn maths, you know, at their ability and see growth. The kids are enthusiastic about what they can achieve. They can see their learning, they can see their growth. And rather than just going, oh, it's maths, I don't want to do this, they're actually getting excited because they know what they need to do to get to where they're going to get. Give the program a chance, get into the data, it's great.